in San Antonio, right off West Avenue, to go inside of a barbecue joint that's tucked away inside this little enclave where they're serving up some classic Texas barbecue. Let's go inside to Bros Barbecue. Joining me now is Christopher Jarek. He is the pit master out here at Two Bros. Thank you so much for having us. How's friend. it going, David? I, you know what? I can't complain because right in front of me, we got a ton of barbecue, side <laughs> items, dessert, beer. I just a good time. But talk to me about the brisket. What kind of steps go into preparing it? Okay, so for the brisket, we uh, we start in the morning. We trim them up. Uh, we season them with uh, salt, pepper, and Jason Dady's Bro Rub. Uh, nice mixture of like 16 different seasonings that we uh, we throw on wow. there. Rub it on real good, throw it on the pit, and let it smoke. But you want to be able to pick it up, and then it's holding up on its own weight, but you pull on it, and look at that, falls right apart, past the brick, the brisket test yeah. is what we like to call it, right? You want to eat your brisket? <laughs> Get another piece for I'm me. I'm not going to slow down, yeah, you're This not stuff's slow. good. You can't stop me. Here you go. Cheers mm -hmm. to you. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. That's a nice bite, man. Thank you. Give me some love. The smoke ring on the outside of the brisket is really nice, and it gives you that subtle smoke flavor that you want. It has a nice bark on the outside, nice and tender. Pass the brisket test. You pull on it, came right apart. Great flavor. Nice amount of smoke, but a good balance where it's not overwhelming on the meat. So the meat is still standing out. It's still the star of the show, but you're just accenting it at a point where it's just absolutely delicious. Nice and tender. That's good stuff. Thanks. Now, you also have ribs on the menu. Yep. Talk to me about what's going on with those. These are our cherry glazed baby back ribs. Season them pretty much the exact same way. Smoke them for about six, eight hours. Glaze them with cherry glaze, about the last 15 minutes or so. Wow. And then throw on some extra glaze right before we serve them. And look at that, perfect size. Nice cut on there, cheers. Uh -huh. There you go, we got it. Yeah, before <laughs> I started eating again. <laughs> Here's the bite. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. The pork ribs have a nice bark on the outside, nice little smoke ring, but the cool part about them is that they have a little glaze on them. So it's a little sweet, a little savory, and they have a nice little tug on them as well. Just a really good example of a delicious pork rib. Man, that's good stuff. Thanks. The side items. Yeah. Look at this. I mean, this is an incredible <laughs> display. Which one would you say is your most popular, the one that people come out for for the side items? For the side items, yeah. the mac and cheese. All day. Okay. Yeah, all the time. This just looks like good old classic mac and cheese here. Cheers. <laughs> We're going to cheers the mac. <laughs> if you love mac and cheese, you have to come try this one. Super creamy. It's just like melt in your mouth, gooey goodness. It's, it's just out of this world. That's really good. Thanks. You could eat that whole thing and not know what happened. I'll tell you yeah, that. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you lose track of time. Chips and dip, though. What's going on with that one? The spinach artichoke dip and the Ooh. chips. So we make the chips in-house and the dip in-house. <laughs> so everything's made from scratch. All right. Yeah. No, this this is actually this is... my favorite snack. <laughs> All right. And we got cheers to chips there. You go. OK. Bam. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even know y'all are serving something like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> This is so good. Thank you. Get down, baby. The desserts, though. Yeah. Showstoppers, bro. Thanks. I mean, delicious. <laughs> Banana pudding. But this is the one. The oh, cobbler. the cobbler? <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Okay, okay. All right. And then also. Yeah, those are those are my favorite right there. Fried pies. Yeah. Are there different kinds of fried pies? No, we, guys... ju we just do the, uh, the, the fried strawberry pies. Wow. Mm -hmm. Cobbler's where it's at. I'm gonna. <laughs> no, this stuff is really good. It's addicting. I can't even lie. All right, that's the bite. Oh, oh man. There's all different kinds of desserts on the menu out here. There's fried strawberry pies, banana pudding, but the one that is near and dear to me because it tastes like home is that cobbler. They have all different kinds of cobblers, so you gotta call ahead to see what's on the menu for that day. But the mixed berry cobbler is absolutely delicious. The crust on the outside, the little sauce that you get from the inside of it, all mixed together, so it's the perfect bite every time. It's just goodness. You guys, Two Bros is where it's at. If you're looking for somewhere that's an authentic Texas barbecue experience, you can get the beer, three different kinds of barbecue sauces if that's how you roll, but the brisket, the ribs, the turkey, the chicken, the chop, the jalapeno poppers, the sausage, and all the side items, including the dessert, you can't go wrong. Yeah. Give me some love. Two uh -huh. Bros, y'all. Authentic Texas barbecue. It's so good. Uh-huh. Texas Eats will be right